Good evening. This is Akashwani Itanaga, the news read by Morgan Bagra. The five-day long special parliament session has started from today. On the first day of the special session, the Lok Sabha has started a discussion on the parliamentary journey of 75 years starting from the Samvidhan Sabha, achievements, experiments, experiences, memories and learnings. Speaking in the Lok Sabha on the journey of the Parliament, Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized its role as a cornerstone of public trust, having witnessed the evolution of Indian democracy. Modi credited the collective efforts of Indians for the achievement celebrated worldwide during the country's parliamentary history. He also lauded Chandrayaan's three's success, noting its significance not only for India but for the entire world. Chief Minister Pema Khandu today inaugurated Donipolo Kunku Namlo at Dugi village in Upper Subansiri district. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Khandu emphasized on the promotion and protection of old age, indigenous belief and system. He said that every individual has its own identity inherited from its ancestors having their own belief and customs which everyone must protect and promote. He urged the believers to promote communal harmony, peace and tranquility in the society. He also assured to extend his assistance for the development of Namlo and informed on the various developments and endeavors to protect and preserve the indigenous belief system by the government through different projects undertaken by Department of the IYA. Chief Minister Pema Khandu announced the launch of Mukhya Mantri Shramik Kalyan Yojana during National Labor Day celebrations yesterday at Itanagar. The scheme offers various incentives for registered workers, including increased maternity benefits, compensation for natural and accidental deaths, enhanced medical assistance and cash incentives for children of workers excelling in sports. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Khandu highlighted significant salary increments for government workers since 2016, emphasizing the state's strong revenue generation. Underscoring the demand for job regularization of Anganwadi workers, he informed that 50% of Gram Sevika Junior Post will be filled by Anganwadi workers completing 10 years of service who are class 10 pass and completed 3 month job training and further 25% of supervisor post will also be reserved for them. He also added that 50% of MTS Group C post will be filled from contingency and casual workers. He also informed that as there is no provision for a pension scheme, the state will cover workers under PM Suraksha Bhima Yojana and PM Jivan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and father will also pay the premium for workers opting for the Atal Pension Yojana. The Chief Minister also announced three new vending zones and discussed ongoing efforts to create parking zones in the state capital. Mahatma Gandhi's granddaughter, Mrs. Tara Gandhi, significantly contributed to Zero's development during the upcoming Gandhi Jayanti. They will also inaugurate the Mahatma Gandhi Center with various amenities with facilities of library, digital career guidance center, children's activity center, citizen service center, farmer's sales hub, panchayat ghar and health clinic. The event will include the presentation of the Pride of Zero Awards and the Administration Excellence Award 2023 at Hong Village. The awardees were selected by a panel of distinguished individuals including Mrs. Tara Gandhi Bhattacharji among others. The ceremony will be attended by eminent personalities from Delhi. Shanti Niketan has been included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The decision to include Shanti Niketan in the list was taken during the 45th session of the World Heritage Committee currently underway in Saudi Arabia. Established in 1901 by Maha Rishi Devendranath Tagore, father of Nobel laureate Ravindranath Tagore, Shanti Niketan is located in Birbhum district of West Bengal. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also congratulated the nation on the occasion via a social media post and said that this is a proud moment for all Indians. While expressing delight over the achievement, he added that Shantini Ketan is an embodiment of Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore's vision and India's rich cultural heritage. The Finance Ministry today has approved various welfare measures for Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC, agents and employees. This move will benefit over 13 lakh agents and more than 1 lakh regular employees. Under these new measures, the Ministry has enhanced the gratuity limit from 3 lakh rupees to 5 lakh rupees for LIC agents. It has also enabled reappointed agents to be eligible for renewal commissions.
The ministry informed that the term insurance cover for the agents has also been expanded from the existing range between 3,000 and 10,000 rupees to 25,000 and 1,50,000 rupees. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.